Hello, I'm Tito Döpfer and I'm the Eurorack starter and yeah, we are the company Döpfer Music Electronic. What is your favorite knob or fader or switch on a synth that you've made? Well, it, I think it depends up, upon, upon the day. Yeah, for most application it's the frequency knob of the filter. Yeah, I think if I looked uh, to the past, I think it was uh, a sequencer which was uh, suggested by Florian Schneider of Kraftwerk. So he asked us uh, if we could make uh, a sequencer following his ideas. And uh, yeah, I think that's the unit I would mention uh, for, for this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you see your gear in the landscape of music? In the landscape of music, I would say that I'm uh, proud that uh, a lot of musicians use uh, the gear uh, live on stage. It's always a pleasure for me to see uh, bands live on stage when they use uh, our gear on stage. What music has inspired you to produce the gear that you make? Well, I think uh, it's... Uh, the old-fashioned electronic music, uh, especially Kraftwerk. We also had a close relationship to Kraftwerk many, many years ago, and all the others like uh, Tangerine Dream and Klaus Schulze. But I also like like Show Michel Schar and Vangelis and the classics, but also Pink Floyd. What's the most surprising tip or trick that you've learned or discovered about a piece of gear after you released it? That. It's totally different, uh, the, the opinion of the manufacturer and the users. So we uh, designed modules where we thought, well, they are brilliant and they will be used by thousands of musicians. And uh, on the opposite, we offered some uh, products where we said, uh, I'm not sure if anybody wants that. And uh, sometimes it's totally different. So. We have a, had a product that was designed, I think, within two or three days and was a bestseller and still is a bestseller. And, and other products were, which took a, a lot of time and uh, a lot of money we were not selling that, that good. How did you get into music making? We the gear making. Well, after all, uh, I wanted to have something like the modular system, but I didn't have the money. And uh, so... The only chance I had was to design it myself because at the time I was looking at the large MOOC modulars, but it, it was impossible for me to, to afford it. And so I started to sign the VCO, VCF, and so on. Yeah, that's how everything started. Where do you most often start on a new piece of gear? I mean, where do the ideas come from? Uh, most of the ideas come from users and a little bit from our distributor because they know which kind of gear uh, the customers are asking for. And at a small percentage of maybe, I know, 10 or 20% 20, 10 or 20 from me myself, for example, the new phaser we uh, show here at the, uh, at the Super Booth 2023, 20, uh, it was actually, I did it for me, and nevertheless, it seems to be successful. <laughs> When do you know when your piece of gear is finished? Um, we manufacture in the beginning some prototypes, which we send to musicians in our area we know, and uh, from where we know that they are very competent and they know uh, a lot of, about gear because they are using in life on, on stage. And so the prototypes go to them and they say, this could be better, you could modify this and then it goes back to us, we modify things and then it goes back and maybe it's two or three times uh, this procedure and after that, okay, we say now it's okay and we finish it and, and that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. You're welcome.